There's this philosophy and this idea that Bob started with of preserving an ancient variety of grain that he didn't quite understand what was happening with it in the beginning, but he knew that it was special. And he saw the nutritional and the health properties and, um, and the possibilities for that. As well, at the same time, he really believed in organic agriculture. And so he decided to marry those two under this idea of a name, of a brand. I am really on a new frontier now with organic agriculture because um, we are not moving our farm, but we're farming it much differently. And to me, that's a new frontier and another chance to be a pioneer in a whole different way. So we want pure food, good food, and uh, not poisoning the earth with chemicals. And this is what uh, organic does for us. And it's one of the things I love about it. I was in college and Earl was in the Air Force. Yeah. Then. And uh, he met this man in a bar. And, oh. and uh, they struck a, up a conversation and Earl ended up with some of these seeds. So he made sure that those seeds got back to his father. If you were really to imagine and count all the different products that we have throughout the world, it would number in the thousands. And um, so it's quite amazing to think that this all came from 36 kernels of grain. What we really want people to eventually understand is that it's not just a grain. There's this whole program that's behind it, this philosophy and these ideals of promoting healthy food and at the same time promoting a healthy environment and, and just a holistic sense of doing good things while you have to eat anyway. It has been over 30 years since we first experimented with organic agriculture on our farm and introduced giant ancient wheat to the marketplace. This has come together in a way which has completely changed the direction of my life's work and the passion that drives it. Food really should be our medicine, and medicine should be our food.